characters who've been nerfed. Just, just the whole nine. And then we got my boy Dr. Pizza Man. The nastiest Lucario I've ever faced in my life. He's the reason why I don't like Lucario. So let's get this started. Game Genie versus Dr. Pizza. Let's get hype. Right off, Bruce. We got him laying on the uh, the B attacks very quickly here. You want to keep Mario as, as way as possible, man. Because Robin, just like Link, he's at perfect height to get juggled. And we know that Mario character is going to give you them up tilts and those up airs, man. So what do you think about this match, man? Um, Dr. Pizza does a pretty good Mario. Yeah, he, oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, I've seen him do pretty, pretty well things before. I've also, I, I enjoy him doing ditto. Yeah. They have really good ditto. Absolutely. Um, I believe that this match is slightly in Game Genie's favor. Only because the reach advantage and because the only way Mario can really hurt is if he can get in. And well, if he I'm can not, keep him away, I mean, I have to disagree with you, Rod, man. I've seen Game Genie's, Game Genie's Robin, man. He's crazy, man. He knows how to space. He knows how to use his projectiles to his advantage. Game Genie, the monster is Robin. That's Robin that I've seen. Yeah. Absolutely, guys. Hey, but Mario's cape. Mario's cape does it right there. Mario's cape does it. He blocks that projectile, sends it right back, and Robin and Robin goes flying. Dr. Pizza, giving him the hands, give him the wop, give him the back here. He's getting in there. Getting and Robin answering it right back. Game Genie needs to take that stock. Unfortunately, Mario, especially Mario Bros. characters, are down to the last characters who are up close and personal. Game Genie. Fun fact about Game Genie, I don't know if you guys ever tuned in or watched him play in the past. He doesn't do too much rolling. He doesn't. He really does not do much rolling. No, no, no. He might get you spot dodge, maybe an air dodge, but as far as a lot of rolling back and forth, that's not his motto. And it really shows. At first, I thought the man was crazy, but. Dr. Pizza, dude, going in clutch with the cape. Definitely using it to his advantage. Man, you know, Ron, I'm going to have to agree with you now because. Oh! The two stock! Oh, Destruction! Somebody get this guy a body bag! Get him out of here! And we got, we got, got two stock! We got a little salt. Jeez! Right, so. Got a little bit of salt going on here. A little bit of salt as as Game Genie tries to play it out with a smile, but of course, Doctor Pizza made that look fairly easy. Definitely hurt. He made that look very fairly easy. All right, guys, just letting you guys know we're going to actually take a short break after this match. Um, they're actually about to announce the, the raffle ticket, so, you know, some, some people are going to get some goodies. Some people are going to be very disappointed. Some people might actually kill some people for the items that they win. But, hey, that's what a NYOP is all about, huh? Not your ordinary picnic. Unfortunately, um, I want that Nintendo hat, so please. I don't want to have to kill anybody for it. I also want that Legend of Zelda wallet, too. I'm really... Man, see, so we see a Rosalina and Luma. Um, I don't think it's a good matchup. I think Mario had the care advantage. I think so. Uh, I've seen this matchup before. Nev versus Amazing Afro mm. from Kansas City. Yeah. Nev, you know, the, it's another one of those, those, those players that are really good with multiple characters without even practicing, you know, just natural born talent. Absolutely. And he used Mario, literally. Nev has been playing with Mario for probably like a week at a time. He goes in. And he, and he destroys Amazing Amphro. Of course, Amazing Amphro wins at the end. But he was destroying him. Mario is really good with getting it in that cape, man. That cape is delicious. Absolutely, it is. It's a very useful tool to have, especially for a character that's, you know, has to get in on you to, uh, to hurt you. Um, and, I mean, no offense to Game Genius, but Amazing Amphro, that's his name. That is his name. He's, he's a lot better. He, I think, in my opinion, he's a lot better than him. I will but, count Game Genie out. Game Genie is very good at spacing. That's why he uses the characters he does. He uses Marv. I've seen his Marv. I've seen his Robin. I've seen his Rose and Luna. Luna. They're not, you know, you know, these types of characters in the wrong hands, especially little characters like Marv who has to get up on you to like, hurt you and do some damage. I mean, you're in trouble, dog. I mean, Game Genie trying to get that, uh, trying to get that good move. He's struggling. Tries to go for the reading rainbow and misses. But goes in with the dash attack. There it goes right there. With the walk, takes out Game Genie. Game Genie needs to take that stop. Goes with the grab. Here it goes right here. This could be it. 
Dr. P is doing real good. Ooh, the coins, man. Back air. Dr. P definitely has some good back air. Goes in. Man, Dr. P is giving him the hands. Game Genie. Struggling. Oh, that SD, man. That's going to be very unfortunate. SD like a Little Mac, man. He knew he couldn't make that, so there's no point even trying. Unfortunately, he's only at about a 26% lead. I mean, oh, oh, that goes to 45. Commentary those, curse. Those bears, man. Dark Beast, very good bears. Trying to go for the WAP, definitely gets you. Like I said, I just don't think it's a really good matchup, guys. No, I, you know what? I thought it was, but... I mean, you know how nice Rosalina Luma could be. I mean, you use Rosalina Luma. She's a good pocket for you. It's a good secondary, and I mean... It's something about the Mario characters, they're just so loose and so free. He's a really using. good pocket character, man, but here's the thing, man. You gotta know when, when to bring her out, when to not bring her out. Yeah. Well, well, hey, man, this could be it, man. Game Genie is pretty run right now. Like, it's not that far apart. And, you know, Rosalina has a really, really good kill move. Down smash. Of course, he goes for the read that he gave him earlier with the forest mask getting up off the ledge. Yeah, see a reading rainbow here. Game Genie, really good. Yes. Wears glasses. Knows about the reading rainbow. Watch that show on the daily. Absolutely. Oh, we see one right now. He's bringing it back. Already took the lead here. Already took the lead. <laughs> Man, Mario with those bears trying to get in. Oh! <laughs> The disrespect, man! Very disrespectful. Game Genie proves he's just like that. Game Genie right? proves why he's all knowing. He's a genie. Yeah, game genie takes he's a genie in the bottle. You gotta rub him the right way, yeah, guys. Yeah, dude. Game Genie takes game two. We will go to game three. Man, this is exciting, dude. And we have Game Genie threatening to eat people on stream. I don't know how I feel about this. There's children here. All right, dude. We got a little bit of salt going on here. Uh, a little bit of a. Guys, and we will be right back. Unfortunately, the Nintendo reps are doing the. the How drawings. unfortunate that the Nintendo reps walk in and they tell us that we have to go. Uh, we have to go do the raffle now. Um, very unfortunate, Lucy Game Two will come back. Please bear with us. Sorry about that. Uh, once again, you're watching Not Your Ordinary Picnic. We'll be right back. Please stay tuned. Shout out, shout out to Melanie if you're watching. <laughs> 